are back. Hello. We're in game for Snorf versus Sage Therapy for you. Hello, Yo. MT. What Hello, up, team? Uh, you said you wanted to be called Lily, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. So we're in Breeze right now. Yep. The last game of the day. So help me remember which team is which. Yeah, so Snorf has um, KJ, Large Octahedron, Untitled Goose, Shrimp Fried Rice, and Carrie. And then Sage Therapy for you has Caitlyn, Dan, Yellow Duo, and su subbing in is Dark Yao. Right, I see. So it looks like both teams have a good idea of who they want to run. Looks like they have good setups. They have at least one smoke uh, stage and at least one duelist. So it's looking good for both teams so far. We're going to see how these uh, the their comps will mm -hmm. match out each other in game. So yep. we're loading into Breeze right now. We're waiting to get into the game. So guys on the chat, um, spam which mm -hmm. team you want to win. If it is not win or therapy for your or STFU for the win. Do you have any power predictions on who's gonna win this match? Um, actually, um, I've heard that um, Snorf has the upper hand on this one because of the power rankings or the points they have. So, um, we're gonna see that in game if the points will really live up to the hype they were given. So right, let's see, see Snorf. Mm -hmm. Empty. What do you have Five. for? I have seen Dark uh, Dark Yao play. I know uh, they're pretty good. I've also seen Dan play once or twice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I know they're two solid players who can definitely hold their own, but I don't know what to expect from uh, Sage Therapy. Whoa. Wait. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to expect from Snorf, sorry. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. excited to see what Snorf can bring to the table. They actually what have a lot of fans there on chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what are your what are your thoughts on Breeze? Um, Breeze is the latest map from Valorant. This is mm -hmm. one thing that um I'm still really confused right now. Um, if you find or I don't usually play duelists, so I usually play Sentinels or controllers. And um, a Viper is really good on this one, on Breeze for me, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So uh, Viper can get an upper hand on this, especially when you're attacking for mm -hmm. a breeze. This is a really big map. It's like kind of like an ice box, something that you yeah. don't. I'm really not a fan of. So we'll see how the both teams uh, capitalizes on this one. Mm -hmm. I think this map is, yeah, as you said, like ice box, but I think it's even more open and slightly bigger. So it. It allows for even better long range combat and it uh, really puts your coordination and precision aiming to the test. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yeah, we have very... a Viper there. Yeah. Let's this see. map is very mechanically rewarding, but it's also really team oriented because of how slow rotation times are. Yeah, so we see um, controllers on both sides, a Viper. On north side, and a, an omen on SDFU side. Yeah, looks like omen and sky are gonna be sitting towards A site, and they're Ooh. just gonna run uh, two guys on A and one on B. I don't know where their fifth player is. I don't see them on the radar. Maybe interesting I'm comp from north. To be pushing up B, there's one smoke going up, exchanges some gunfire, sh throws in the shock dart, does a no damage, the recon dart comes in, another shock dart coming through, and it looks like the attackers are going to start playing more passive. Spots out one, another shock dart in, looks like the attackers are rotating towards mid into untitled Goose. Goose being pressured by three, not able to take out any, but it looks like... Uh, it's left to large octahedron to play against the three. Two of them are low, one is full health, but is able to get right clicked into oblivion. And it looks like they're regrouping at B tunnel 
with two guys low health and takes out two amazing uh, play by uh, them, but the spike is dropped and it's down to Dan114. Gets the right click, gets the tap, and it ends up in Shrimp Fried Rice's favor. Absolutely amazing play by them. That was a very good play to swing on that angle. Mm -hmm. That was um, some Soba plays from Shrimp Fried Rice that he showed against um, SCFU. And then we're going to see um, round two for this one. So I noticed that they're running on double controllers and double initiators on Snorf's side. They don't really have a Sentinel on them, but they're really good at defending on this one. Yeah. So we're heading uh, for round two. Like they are heading towards A. And mm -hmm. looks like both teams are actually slightly half buying. Both of them are respecting each other's ecos. None of them are full buying. Mm -hmm. So that's good because that means they can all full, both full buy third round. So that's going to be really exciting. Looks like there's five guys grouped up at A main and a lot of gunfire exchange with three of the smoke, but no one gets shot yet. Wall comes up and it looks like they're going to be taking sight from there. Multiple guys already on site. Recon bolt spots all four. And it looks like one gets taken out, 4v5, 3v5, gets the trade kill, 3v4 here, on site. Looks like very winnable here for both sides, gets the spike down. Shock darts not able to connect. Two guys sitting on pyramids and one guy sitting, uh, main. Looks like one guy side dies, two guys side dies, three guys Ooh. dies, untitled Goose with the spray down. That's a lot of damage from untitled Goose there. A triple what from a him. Legendary play. True. That play definitely saved them there, because if they didn't flank, then they would have had a really tough time retaking this site. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely a really good play by them. So This comp from Snarf is um, really good. It's mm -hmm. working well for them, even though they don't have a sentinel to defend with them. Double initiator yeah. and double controller is really working well for them, especially this guy. He's really popping off on this mm -hmm. one. Yep. So we're going to see in the next rounds. Five Yeah. Well, what are your thoughts about the eco? Like, who do you think is has the better eco here? Because one team has some cash and a half buy, but the other team mm -hmm. is full buy and no cash. So, who do you think is in favor of the eco here? Actually, yeah, I think uh, the eco is in favor of Snarf here. Um, they were able to convert a lot out of a lot of stuff, even though they're only half buying. Ooh, Dark Yao on the kill. That's one pick. With a full buy. That's a good early pick for Dark Yao. Shrimp Fried Rice creeping up B tunnels gets taken out by Caitlyn XO and it looks like the attackers are going to be positioning closer to B tunnels and splitting this execute. Carry able to take out one does not spot out the second in B tunnels who's creeping up B wall does not spot them and unfortunately gets taken out. Down to a 2v3 uh, in favor of the attackers and it looks like KJ spots one in their spawn, throws out a smoke and does take the gunfight, but Caitlyn is able to escape. But it looks like Large Octahedron's presence here is largely unknown. 1v4 situation for Large Octahedron. Spots out 1, not able to connect any shots. Gets shot at, not able to return fire, and that's a done round. Looks like uh, the full buy or the force buy from SCFU is working out yeah. at this time. And we, I'm, I was wrong with my prediction on this one. Hmm. Yeah. It was a good round from SCFU with a full buy, and they were able to convert it properly. Mm -hmm. What do you think went wrong there for uh, Snorf? Like, what was the moment where the round went wrong? Um, I think um, it was uh, defending. They were not defending it. Uh, the arena was the one that got uh, the pop-off on this one, so um, yeah. uh, the collapse on arena, was, I think, should have been better. Oh. Caitlyn spots out one on B site, Ooh. takes them out with a very clean shot. And looks like they're falling back, playing for retakes now. Two guys approaching B tunnels does not know that Duo is sitting right next to that. Duo could actually have a good trigger discipline here. Swings out one, does know there's another. Ooh. Swings out for another, doesn't quite connect a kill. But it looks like Untitled Goose is down in a 1v4 with 30 health. And it looks like it's a done round, but I don't think Untitled Goose is going to save this one. They're walled out from CT, and looks like the best play here is just to save the weapon and yeah. uh, end day. But looks like not able to save as they gave up their positioning by sending in the wall.
But the Reina is really working well for SDFU this time. And also uh, the Sage giving out um, uh, the kills, giving it mm -hmm. the, the duelist on the side of SCFU is really doing their jobs for them. Yeah. I think uh, Dark Yao is actually a really like flexible player because we've seen them play Jet earlier today and now Ooh. we're seeing them play with Sage. So And they're doing a good job, right? Like, um, mm -hmm. uh, they're not baiting a as much as they were when they're Jet because they're safe. Yeah. Spots out yeah. one in the hallway, able to connect two shots, does not know there's a second. Looks like both of the CTs retreat. And one gets taken out on a ramp. Looks like they're going to be slowly creeping up on a hallway. Walls out the wall, able to open the door. And it looks like it's just all gone wrong because the defenders don't have any control. But they're in a 3v5. It's a 3v5 post-plant situation here. And unless if one of them whips something out, uh, that's like that's impossible to be done. I, don't, it, I think it's another done round. I think it's uh, going to be 3-2 after this. Shrimp Fried Rice able to connect one shot, but Duo is scouting out for them. Duo does, uh, hears them and lines up the shot, able to take out them. Um, looks one like more. another 1v3. They might want to save this, but, but the they pistol. only get to no. Very unfortunate timing there. Just as they whip out the molly to get taken out. What can you do with a pistol? Yeah, they had a scout as well, but there was really no yeah. point in saving it. Yeah, it, they're having a tough time right now. They were ahead of earlier in the game, but now they're lagging uh, around on this one. Mm -hmm. With uh, their um, the enemy duelists doing really good job entering the frags, entering the sites, and yeah. clearing it out for them. Mm -hmm. And mind you, if you look at the eco here, you can see that two members on the attacker squad are almost on full, full, full money. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those three consecutive rounds without pretty much any deaths really gave them a huge economic advantage. Looks like two guys sitting close, B, Shrimp Fried Rice, able to detect one. Ooh, dark uh, out. Not know to use, uh, on site, falling back onto CT. Spots both, about to shoot their recon dart in. Spots multiple on the site. Bomb is getting planted. Pulls out their alt, not able to connect. Uh, looks like Caitlyn is just going to be pushing into their- never mind. Looks like they're mm -hmm. gonna be pushing into mid-window where they will meet KJ. Looks like neither of them know they're there except for KJ because Caitlyn made a sound cue. Spots their head, not able to get the spray. Neither party exchanges uh, gunfire correctly, but looks like it's down to KJ. And... KJ looks KJ. like they're still gonna contest on 1 HP, gets swung out by, and gets taken out. Another, so they, another mm -hmm. round for Sage Therapy for you. True, it's uh, Dark Yao with um, Bridal Aggression again. You can see how he um, really goes in with the Sage and how he pairs up over the Duelist. See um, the frag from Dark Yao is at 7-4 right now with a 3k gold and a full buy. Yep. I think uh, Dark Yao, like, as I said before, they're really complete and flexible player and mm -hmm. they're just demonstrating it more and more every single round just endlessly capitalizing on uh, Snorf's mistakes and it's really working out for them. Duo spots out one, partner, our entitled Goose's partner dies and it looks like they're falling back gonna play for the retake again. Another one creeps up mid, Caitlyn able to spray the nest, doesn't connect any shots but it looks like um, they're just gonna be spread out all over the site. And it's another 1v5 situation. Ooh, this dark definitely out. looks unwinnable. Able to take out one, but the rest of them know where they are. And it's not going to be easy to run away without four guys hunting you down. Spots yeah. 2 decides to throw a molly. Uh, walls up and going to sit in that sneaky Ooh, corner. Ooh, dark Find one of them. That's one. That's almost two. Not able to get the second frag there. Very unfortunate. Dark Yao playing Sage like Reina style, but um, the, he's over extending on this one, so which is less good. Or mm -hmm. if he less he if he extends less, or maybe just wait and defend on that on their side of the map. Yeah. I think it will be much better for him. Uh, here let's talk about let's talk about what um Snorf are doing wrong. So what do you think is causing Snorf to lose these rounds? 
Actually, um, I think it's just that um, SCF you really do, uh, doing really good on their duelists. They're entering mm -hmm. inside the sites, um, like um, how duelists should do. Yep. And then they also have Dark Yao. Untitled Goose alts in, spots two on the door side, able to open the door. And it looks like they're just gonna creep through on site. Able to spot out large ho ho octagon, sees KJ, does not shoot any shots, but does know there's at least two on their left side. Here's, sees at least two, knows there's one more close by, but swings out and is able to get the frag. Looks like it's another one of those situations, another 1v5. Looking again, unwinnable. Ooh, yep, Dark Yao. Another done round. Dark Yao with the 4k rushing down hallways. That's something you don't see every day. Yeah, Dark Yao is actually an attention magnet. Just his presence at an angle is enough to pull two defenders. So, um, aside from the duelist that um, SDFU has, um, they have Dark Yao as well. Who's um, gaining the attention and pulling out the attention from the duelist, which um, enables them to go in. Yeah. He, we have a nice drone here for this game. Mm -hmm. They're trying B right now. Uh, why? Uh, looks like the STF or Storf are still three stacking A site. I don't uh, quite understand that play. Shrimp Fried Rice falls back to CT. Does not spot any yet. Darts in. Darts one. Knows there's at least one on site, but it looks like there's <laughs> all five on site. Does not recon bow yet. Dark Yao on site. Swinging Nest gets taken Ooh. out by uh, Untitled Goose, but is traded out by Duo. And now Shrimp Fried Rice is just repositioning into B tunnels with uh, their teammates. All three of them looks like going to be pushing through B tunnels. So it's just 3v3. Uh, one hiding in the back right corner, uh, one hiding in the back left. What Dan, one HP gets taken out. Last Ooh. one guy sitting back corner, mollied out, but not out of the fight. Still able to return no. gunfires, exchanges shots, takes out one, gets traded. 1v1 between Caitlyn and Shrimp Fried Rice here. Looks like Cla Caitlyn's just going to be going through the merry-go-round strat. Takes out their knife, does not get the kill, but is able to secure the round for STFU. Very, very clean round. They got the kills, but didn't get the defuse for this one. So it's 2-7 in favor of STFU right now. Um, mm -hmm. I hope that the snort can still come back on this one. Um, I... mm -hmm. uh, so I think that uh, snort they don't like they have some good players, right? Untitled mm -hmm. Goose, Shrimp Fried Rice, and Carry are mm -hmm. all three pretty solid players, but mm -hmm. they're most of the time they're putting too many guys A, and when they don't, they're putting too many guys B. Yeah. And as we saw from last round, they can win gunfights, they just need the positioning and the leadership. Yeah. It looks like all five are going down A, and four through hallway, one through main, heavy pressure down a hallway. Shrimp Fried Rice repositions here, throws in a shock a recon dart, gets detected, does not decide to throw out a shock dart. KJ mm. takes out one with their daggers, and it looks like mm. repositions back into hallway, the door is open. And they know there's multiple on site, but they do not know once A main, the one A main gets taken out and Dark Yao trades for them. It is a 4v1, finally in favor of Snorf here. Now it's all down to the man himself, Dark Yao. Down to a 2v3, reses their teammate, unable to uh, guard their teammate's body and gets nice. both taken out. That's 4k for KJ right there with a cap ult on her. Yeah. It was a very successful ult. Right place, right time. Mm hmm So the, if they keep that. if they keep on doing this or is this momentum going, they might be able to do to go back or come back for this game. Valorant is a very momentum based game, right? Once mm -hmm. you have that mental mm -hmm. hype, once you have that you, you once you have your mental game up, you're gonna start winning more rounds. Mm -hmm. So I expect to see Snorf able to, uh, or be able to do at least semi decent for the next couple rounds. Looks like it's gonna be a mid take. Leaving bomb back in mid so they can freely reposition. I like this play here. Looks like Dark Yao is going to be creeping. Yao. Smoke takes out one very good smoke clerk there. It looks like it's down to a 5v4. Heavy disadvantages because um, four guys now have to guard uh, against five. Able mm -hmm. to convert into a 4v4, but 4v4 is always favorite T side. A Dark Yao sees one, does not know there's another two Ooh, trades coming in. And it looks like it is finally down to a 2v3. 
now it's down to a 1v3. Dan's position is known, but uh, they do not know if any other gets taken out by Shrimp Fried Rice. Shrimp Fried Rice really doing the job for Snort here, and we're 4 for the 7. We started with 2 to 7 or 4 to 7. If and if um, Snarf can get back or win this round, we're down to two game, two rounds at least. Yeah. And then we're gonna be switching sides and see what happens. Who is the better team when they're attacking or defending? Ooh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a shot here and say that if if Snarf wins this round and they win pistol round, they have a really really good chance of coming back. Because yeah. we know they're not mechanically bad, we just mm -hmm. know they're not very coordinated. Yeah. Uh, multiple pushing onto site, gets smoked out, Shrimp Fried Rice falls back. Able to pull out their ult, not making the same mistake as last time by uh, pulling their ult while exposed. Gets some damage, but only is able to hit one shot. Uh, exchanges shots, looks like multiple are on site. KJ pushing with Shrimp Fried Rice from CT. Shrimp Fried Rice picks up the off. KJ exchanges some shots, does not connect any. Down to a 2v5 here, maybe Snorf's chance is gone. Maybe they, uh, maybe their momentum is just, uh, gone now. Hopefully yeah. Still clutch up this round. Able to take out two very Ooh, good swings. Okay. Spawned out the third. Exchanges some shots, but none hit. Down to 11 HP. And Trim Fried Rice with the Operator. Potentially able, uh, hand the sh uh, dart. Oh, darts okay. one, but does not check the close corner. Is able Snarf, to get taken out. Snarf actually had all the momentum back not. then, but um, SCF, you had a good job or did a great job in getting the momentum back to their side. So we're now we're switching sides, and it will be Snarf attacking, I believe, mm -hmm. and then SCF you defending. So we're gonna see how Dark Yao, since he's a very flexible player, we're gonna see how he does as a defender and breeze. All right, looks like. Both of the controllers on attacker side have bought utils, so that's always mm -hmm. good to see. A good team, uh, good team players always appreciated when they're a controller. Mm -hmm. And it mm -hmm. looks like most of the uh, uh, defenders are actually buying upgraded pistols, and two of them even bought sheriffs. So I'm excited to see how that pans out. Uh, all five coming into A, and it looks like it's down to Dark Yao and Duo to hear defend. Duo able to take shots, not able to con uh, convert to a kill, gets spotted by the recon bolt, spots the jet, neither are able to connect any shots, and it looks like they're just going to be playing close corners, playing the cross. Looks like the attackers are actually regrouping and falling back. Yo, I didn't know. Uh, that into water. mid. Oh, wait, wrong. Ooh, but that's Caitlin where you spot out Caitlin, that. and Caitlin with a good info here. Able to fall back, stay alive, and okay, just Dad, uh, deliver that info back to the team. Looks like guys creeping up B. They might go for a B take, but they know Caitlyn is here. Able to take out one. Does not know where the others are, but knows there's a couple in their spawn. Spots another, takes out another. And it looks like it's kind of desperate for the attackers here. Able to take out another. That's... And they are able to close the round. Snorf never had a chance. Yeah, they really... Um, Snorf actually had the patience of going into the site, but um, they were too late. Um, all, uh, Reyna already had the info they needed to collapse mm -hmm. into the team. And they converted that properly into their favor. Yep. As usual, um, Caitlyn, Dark Yell, Duo giving him, them the information. As well as Dan and Yellow actually doing a good job on their solo and um, the Omen as well. Mm -hmm. I think Caitlyn did a really good job there because they not only delivered the info but fell back to a really off angle where they could uh, get three more kills and I think yeah. that was a good point. Yeah, like, that was uh, a good info. Snorf is going uh, to do, for a B take. Heavy util B. Looks like Shrimp Fried Rice is going to be the one in charge here. Spots out one does not decide to fire but is able to get most of the site. The spike goes down and it looks like they have a fairly good uh, plant. Dark Shrimp Fried Rice overextending, but doesn't look like they're getting punished. Yellow Ooh. also gets taken out. Du uh, uh, Duo is still alive on site, but it looks like Dark Yao and Caitlyn are coming from main, and they're going to cause a lot of chaos for their defenders. Down to Duo, last remaining attacker is or defender is taken out. 
KJ with the four kills on her on her jet. Um, and then coming back to the game, five nine in this in this game right now. So KJ. I think, mm -hmm. I think uh, how heavy they pushed up on site was uh, how they won because they were they just yeah. got overwhelmed by pistols. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was really nothing much they could do there. Yeah, there that was really, like... really nice. Uh, do from snort there. Looks like the attackers are going to be forcing up, and the defenders are going to have an awkward buy here. Not sure what they are going for, but it Ooh. looks like the are going to go for a heavy hallways rush. Maybe they learn from Dark Yow's plays. Mm -hmm. There's two guys on A site, and it looks like the rest are fairly spread out. Not yet rotating. Now they're rotating. Doesn't know Dark Yow sitting underneath stairs. Able to take Ooh, out one. Falls back. Close orb. Able to deliver the information and stay alive. Sees the shot start. Decides to have trigger discipline over it. Good play there by uh, Dark Yow. Looks like KJ and uh, their teammates are still going to be up there. Dark Yow spots one, spots the, uh, spots the other, able to dink them, but not able to convert the kill. Spots out two, Kari spotting out one and gets taken out. The patience from our defenders, they're not pushing in too much and they're just waiting for uh, the attackers to go in. Yeah. That's that's a those are really good players come uh, or plays coming in from the defenders. Mm -hmm. And uh, Dark Yell with a good pick on the, uh, the um sky right there. Yeah, that that I was I, I wasn't expecting uh, Dark Yell to get that because he like, had a pistol. A really awkward angle, and yeah, mm -hmm. they had the classic. So <laughs> I definitely was expecting that. Can I have a chicken on the table? <laughs> it's a very big chicken. Yeah, I think it's turkey then. <laughs> attacking mid. Yeah, it's some weird big turkey. Dark yeah, with aggression. Splitting up. Looks like Shrimp Fried Rice able to pick out yeah, one. Darts into sight. Does not scan any yet. Yellow successfully able to evade the dart, but it looks like their mid push is too good. And it looks like. Uh, Duo and Dan are trying to push towards mid, not able to spot out any unfortunate timing there. Dan takes out one, but his third teammate is traded. Sees Octahedron, able to get them out with a headshot. Down to a 1v3, actually winnable here. Um, it looks like Dan doesn't know the positions of any of their players, yeah. but um, it is That's it is now cool. a retake, so it's much tougher. Spots out one, doesn't spot out any others. That could be the death of Dan, not the Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they were going for there. So it's Maybe a 3v1 retake. He tried, he tried, he tried there, but it's a 3v1 retake for him. And with a Viper wall, that was um kinda impossible. But it's still yeah. possible if he was able to clutch it. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Looks like that mid push worked out really well for them because mm -hmm. they had a lot of their guys A and you know they're a good team with good comms but they're more of like a stay on site type instead of rotate type and I think that really cost them the round. Yeah, they don't flank that much and they just stay mm -hmm. in sight for most of the defending time. I don't think it's a bad thing, I just think like sometimes it's easy to be exploited. Mm -hmm. uh, because like... the enemy knows. Yep, looks like Snorf is going to be heading up mid, and it looks like well, Trade's coming in 4v3 Ooh. now, and it looks like 3v3 now, able to Ooh. convert two rifles on both sides, 2v3, able to get another rifle, Dark Yow, 1v2 now, Ooh, they yeah. know where they are, Shrimp Fried Rice takes them out, but does not know where Dark Yow is, still too focused on CT. Oh. Where's Ralph? Dark Yow knows where they are, lines up the shot, and takes them out. Caitlyn with the ult and the kills for that round. That was a nice ult from Caitlyn to dish out the three people from the mid lane, from the mid part. Caitlyn is also a really good player because uh, they're backing up Dark Yow really well and they can still like get really uh, a lot of frags on their own. So. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah. yeah. So Dark Yow, top fragging. For SCFU mm -hmm. and Shrimp Fried Rice for Snorf. Yep. Looks like Dark Yow is lining up their wall at uh, A, but looks like they're avoiding A to avoid Dark Yow. Multiple coming B. Looks like there's 
two guys B and two guys mid, able to pr pressure on B. Takes out one, does not spot out the other. Yellow is falling back. It looks like yellow spots multiple through the dart, but not able to take out any. Uh, Dan swings out, but is getting overwhelmed, and not much Dan can do here. Uh, pushes Micro. onto site, gets taken out, and it looks Last like, uh, Andrew. this looks bad for the defenders. Dark out left in a 1v2, and we know if there's anyone in this game here that can win a 1v2, it's gotta be Dark out, right? Yeah, so Dark out Res Ooh, with a revive. Okay. 2v2 now, very, very oh, no. winnable. No position of shrimp. Gets Ooh. them out, self heals, but does not know where the sage is, or the viper is. Just Ooh. throws down a molly. I think viper might have this. Yep, Viper yeah. able to clutch up for the uh, uh, attackers and Snorf lives another day. It's really hard to go in with the Viper all up and then they have the molly as well. So the molly that killed um, Dark Yao there was really good. It's yeah. too bad that, that um, the yellow can't do anything after that because he ran out, ran out of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see. 7 to 11 on the scoreboard so um snarf is trying really hard to come back on this one and they probably have the chance on this especially um with shrimp fried rice yep. doing it on I, his back i think they should split out uh, split up a little more because right now they're just rushing everything mm -hmm. uh, looks like duo is able to get uh or start the alt at mid doors to, uh I've got your trail. looks like Take the flight. attackers are all going to be pushing up a but there's three guys sitting a main able to exchange gunfire and it looks like dan ults into sight oh but gets reverse ulted this is a really good play by shrimp here demonstrating nice. the game sense doesn't Ooh. able isn't able to take out caitlin in their spawn but it does look like they have come to a fairly even trade uh, 3v3 now in favor of the attackers uh, takes out another with their alt duo, able to land the knives. L does not spot out Kari yet, but does have the spike. Looks like gets the finds the position of Kari and Dark Yao is also able to assist duo here. Really tough spot for KJ and Kari here, and it looks like Kari probably won't check that corner. Check the corner, scary. Yeah. Does not check the corner, unfortunate. Down to KJ, not able to connect. And it is another round for the defenders, forcing at least overtime. Yeah, so Sage is really good at, at this point of the game where you need to defend. That uh, Sage wall from Dark Yao when he had the spike there was really good because um, it just didn't um, let uh, the attackers get the spike immediately and it was hard for Kari to retake that one. I have to agree with you. So, what do you think Snorf are doing wrong? Like, why are they sinking rounds? Or, actually, you know what? Why are Snorf doing better this half? Like, do you do you think you know why? Um, I think, um, it's because... I'm not really sure what went wrong for them. But all I, uh, all I really know is that, um, the... SCFU is really doing a really good job with their duelist and with Dark Yell with them. Yeah, I have to agree with you on that one. Large Octahedron with the scout able to take out one while getting tagged in the process. Uh, looks like gets taken out by Dan through a wall bang and Shrimp Fried Rice is left alone at uh, B here. Falls back with uh, their teammate. Looks like they're gonna go for an A take now. Uh, to Caitlyn and Duo both rotating while it looks like Dan is anchoring B site. But it does look like Caitlyn falls back onto B site for some reason, and they have A site clear for the taking. 3v4 post plant, and two of their players are really low, but if Caitlyn is able to secure a frag, they can heal back to full health, and it'll be a even 3v3. Caitlyn takes oh. out one, healing. This is exactly what is uh, I pre uh, predicted is going to happen. Up, the swings out, Caitlyn. Oh, doesn't get the kill. Caitlyn flashes out, spots one, spots two, not able to convert. And Caitlyn tried. Yeah, very unfortunate play there, but it does look like Snorf is able to survive another day. Yeah, another mm. match point for Snorf to survive, and then more to come before they go back to overtime. Yeah.
from from uh, what Darkia said earlier, they he, uh, they weren't receiving any comms, so mm -hmm. I think that mm -hmm. might be uh, the fatal flaw of the Maybe. defenders right now. Because if you're yeah. attacking, you can just all rush in, but if you're defending, you gotta be coordinated. Yeah. Uh, and then. Looks like... mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nah, it's fine. But uh, it looks like Yellow and uh, Caitlyn are both sitting B, and ro so two rotates are coming in while Dark Yow still sits mid. Four guys on B now. Looks like Snorf have learned to start playing it slow. They're playing for picks now. One smoke through B, but two smokes through B. And are they going to rotate? Yes, they are. Uh, Lily, did you have anything you wanted to say? Yeah, um, I think um, it's this is not the uh, the usual play uh, that um, Snarf is going for. They're really s pushing slowly here with only one person on the A side and then the others on the on the mid part. Mm -hmm, so we're yeah. gonna see what happens in this Arch one. So Archon spots out Darkyau, tags them up, but does not secure the kill. Darkyau heals back up, spots them, able to get the spray, Ooh. and it looks like. Large Octahedron gave them away by not fragging Darkwild properly. Darkwild goes through the wall, does not get the kill, but does able is able to get the trade duo, and that is game. Oh, well, Sage Therapy for you wins uh, the game with 13 to 8 against North on the back of their duelist and Darkwild. Mm -hmm. So let's now... see. Mm -hmm. Now we go to the analyst desk. Yeah, let's call the analyst. Guys, go take over. Hello? Hello, can okay, you hear? Okay, there we go. Hello. Um, We're here to analyze what is a very riveting game. It's North against Sage Therapy for you. It went very close, actually. Uh, dipped either way. In the first half, dipped either way in the second half, but in the end, it does end 8 13 in favor of Sage Therapy for you. Misty joins me again for this match. Hello, Misty. Hello. Hello, Misty. Hi. Um, okay, again, first off, what are your thoughts? What were your thoughts on the match? I thought that match was like pretty, I don't know, it was kind of anxiety inducing for me. At the beginning, it looked like, you know, um, North would not be able to get any foothold against uh, Sage Therapy for you because uh, they were just leaving sites for Sage Therapy for you to get. And, you know, their entire team was being super um, just kind of anxious and wouldn't push into site while Sage Therapy for you was pushing like very aggressively. But I feel like on defending, they did a lot better because they were finally finding that groove and they were figuring out the other team. But unfortunately, in the end, it didn't work out for them. Yeah, I agree about that. It's, it, was, it just took them a while to get started, and they did get started, but in the end, mm -hmm. it wasn't enough. Um, what do you think helped Sage Therapy for you to that really good attacking half? Uh, I feel like definitely their Sage. Their stage was very aggressive and played very, very well. Yeah, Helped we them did. Get onto site and keep it. Yeah, we did notice that, like, it was as if uh, Dark Yow's presence just attracted defenders towards him. And, you know, that helped their duel just, like, push into site. Mm hmm. It was so. But we did notice, though, that, that uh, Snorf did, like, play really well in their T side as well. What do you think yeah. changed over the half that contributed they, to that? I think Snorf really found out how the other team worked, and they were able to deal with Dark Yow's uh, aggression a lot better and much more of the time. And they were, you know, they weren't as anxious anymore, and they really pushed on this site and were able to keep their site. Yeah, that that does explain it. That'll be it for us on the analyst desk. Uh, congratulations to Sage Therapy for you. Commiserations to um, the losers eventually. Snorf, they played really well. It was a good game. Uh, over to you guys.
Um, hey. Yeah, that was that was those were some pretty intensive games. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed uh, missing the plays and uh, what a lot of surprises. Not gonna lie, um, a couple clutches, but overall, I think um, I really I'm 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 really excited for the finals tomorrow. Yep. It would. Uh, I think it's going to be really exciting to watch the the proven teams fight against each other, and it's going to be even better tomorrow. So, stay tuned for tomorrow. Uh, you can find our dis uh, schedule on the Discord server. I think uh, that's it for today. Well, thank you guys all for coming. See y'all guys tomorrow for the semis and the finals. Yep. Yeah. See you. Bye.